Guten Tag, Bernation! Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty bad. But this place is not. We are here at Northwest Houston at Klaus Brewing Company. And just by the name alone, you can tell that they take inspiration from the German masters themselves. You know what? Let's go inside and we get my Lederhosen on. Yeah! Hey guys, welcome. We are here with Thomas Limpke of Klaus Brewing Company. We want to ask him a few questions, get to know a little bit about your brewing place here because it's amazing already just as I walked in and I'm actually kind of hungry. But anyways, uh, give, us, give us a little information on how you guys came up with the name of the company and a little background on how you got it all started. Well, uh, that's a lot of information. Uh, <laughs> Let's start with one thing at a time. Yes. Uh, the name, uh, we wanted a strong German name, okay. uh, and so we picked that. Uh, the name itself actually means victory for the people, cool. uh, so we felt like a good craft beer at a good price is a victory for most people yes, at the is. end of the day, you know. Yeah. Uh, it also happens to be my son's name. Oh, so, cool. So it's a twofer, I guess. Yeah. Wow. And, um, but we came about, I, I've got, you know, a German family, uh -huh. and my mom actually still lives there. Oh, nice. Uh, so I grew up in that culture yeah. and just as I grew up I also grew up in the beer culture cool. and so Fun. that's kind of how I wanted to bring it to the market you know in the this uber innovative thing that's going on in craft beer uh, I kind of wanted to bring back some uh, tradition that and is amazing it here is. we are yeah I love so. it how long have you guys been open already uh, about a year and a half year and a half yeah. okay oh, since awesome. we opened up excellent Okay, so what we want to do, we're just going to get straight into it. We want, we want to actually start tasting some beers now because that's, you know, I'm thirsty. Right. All right, so let's start off with this side over here, and I'm going to grab one over here. Got my yep. stash over here. All right, so tell us what we have here. So we are starting off with a, uh, it's called One Hellas of a Lager. It's a Munich Hellas, uh, which is your standard light lager beer. Easy to drink, beer garden, quaff, I guess. Mm. That's what I prefer. Oh wow. Is that what you have now? Yeah, so it's a um, it's a lager style, so it's a little bit crisper, not too Love hoppy. It. Yeah, yeah, I like that a lot. I like Easy to drink. Yes. Yeah. No, it's smooth, smooth, smooth. <laughs> I think I'll take another sip yeah. if you don't mind. Go for it. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> Any meaning behind the name of that one? Or? No, it's just a little play on words because of it's a Hellas. So okay, we said yeah. one Hellas of a lager. So it's just a little play on words. That's what happens with a lot of our naming that we do. Yeah, so uh, the next one we have is uh, a standard German uh, Hefeweizen, which mm -hmm. is a wheat beer. Mm -hmm. And we call this one Edelweizen. Um, Edelweiss is the, is the noble flower. Uh, and Hefeweizen is the beer, so we just kind of merged like the two names. This is really Very nice. nice. Yeah. You can, it's got like the floral accents to it. Yeah. It's, yes. really it's got a specialized yeast, that's why you'll taste maybe a little bit of clove, a little bit of banana in it. Mm. Uh, so it's, that comes from the yeast that's used. So I love it. Definitely a different type of beer. Very delicious. <laughs> All right, let's try the next one. So now we have um, our Kaiser Kolsch. Uh, it's a German traditional Kolsch style. Mm -hmm. um, again, lighter on the hops, but it, this is an ale version. Uh, basically an ale version of the Hellas. Okay. So it uses an ale yeast versus a lager yeast. So it'll, it'll have a little bit, slightly different taste profile. Yeah. Uh, a little more ester in it. Um, so it's a little bit stronger flavor. I like it's good though. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's really good. Yeah, that's, that's a very, very delicious. popular one in the tap room for sure. Hmm. So what would you say is the favorite amongst everyone? Favorite is the Hellas uh, and the Edelweizen. Okay. That's our top two, and those are our two award-winning beers. So, oh, wow. What awards? Uh, New York International Beer Festival. We won uh, uh, silver for the Hefeweizen, the Edelweizen, and a bronze for the Hellas. Excellent. So, Congrats. That thanks. is awesome. Yeah. I love that. So the next one we have is Wonderlust. Um, that is a traditional German alt beer, uh -huh. which is an, uh, kind of a German amber or German brown ale. It's basically the darker cousin to the Kolsch. That is so pretty good. Brewed a lot the same way, just different malts that give it a little roastier, a little darker 
yeah. color. Interested to know about the name Wanderlust. Tell me about it. Wanderlust, I love to travel. Oh, cool. So, and Wanderlust means the love of travel. I German. must, I yeah. must know, where have you traveled? All over. Everywhere? <laughs> a lot your, of Europe. What's your favorite place that you've been to? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. That's a very good question. He's uh, like, I don't know. <laughs> too many. Yeah, there's too many. There's, okay. I've traveled a lot. Think? Now, do I hit some chocolate or? There's a slight, we use a, a, a hint of a, a, a roasted malt okay. that's been what we call dehusks. So it doesn't give the harsh, acrid, ashtray type roast. It gives it more of the chocolatey okay. aspect to it. But we just use a hint, just to kind of like a seasoning, like putting pepper on your eggs or something. Yeah. So, yeah. I like it. Tasty. I've yeah. already moved on to the next one. You yeah. guys are too slow for me. <laughs> Dirndl dropper. Uh, yeah. What is happening? <laughs> that is our traditional Martzen style. Some people call it Oktoberfest. Mm. Uh, it's an amber lager. Uh, it's actually a really good year-round beer. Oh, wow. I love that. Yeah. And um, it's one of our favorites out of the tap room, too, mainly because it's, it's year-round. Not a That's lot of people really do good. a year-round Martzen, okay. but we do. It is a very seasonal because of the connotation of it being called an Oktoberfest beer, but mm -hmm. it's actually a really good year-round beer. It's delicious. Yeah. Yeah, very good. You got to try this one. This one's really good. <laughs> I like that one a lot. That's a fan favorite for sure. Oh, yeah. I'm a fan. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have our Dunkel Breaking Your Heart. Uh-oh. <laughs> What's happening here? It's great for Valentine's. Uh, yes, it is. You're so absolutely right. So that's a, a Munich Dunkel. Um, it's also a lager. We do a lot of lagers, which is unusual, especially for this region. Um, it's a, a dark Munich style lager, so it's going to use richer Munich malts uh, and a little bit of roasted, a little bit of caramel malt, oh, wow. and so to give it a more complex flavor. But it's not dark in the terms of porter stout. Okay. You know, so oh. it, I would just call you know, it a rich dark. Really hard to choose which one is like good. I mean, and right. you know, it goes with the mood. Like, what do you? Which one do you like? I'm leaning toward the Wonderlust actually. You know, I, I'm, yeah. I'm right in between the two as well. Yeah, it was really good. I'm, yeah. I'm amazed. I am amazed. Um, we're back here again with Thomas, and we've been enjoying this so much. He's told us a lot about his wonderful establishment here, and you know what? We want to know something about. German language, and we want to we want to learn how to say some things in German. How about that? You know, Should be fun. Not a this problem. is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> All right. So. Farfagnugen. <laughs> yeah, beer. 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 Okay. Brauer. Brauer. Right. Right. Brauer. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Sweet. Close enough. <laughs> Willkommen. 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 Yeah. Easy. That's good. Flugzeug. 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 There you go. Ausgezeichnet. Ausgezeichnet. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. You wrote. <laughs> Sorry. It must be the German in me. <laughs> okay. Thank you. One more time. Ausgezeichnet. Ausgezeichnet. Close. Close. <laughs> You're getting there. Thank you. <laughs> Danke. 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 Dunkel Weizen Doppelback. Dunkel. 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 Weizen. Weizen. Doppel. Doppel. Back. 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 Now put it all together real quick. Dunkel. Back. Yeah, and three times real fast. Oh no. Right. Dunkel Weizen. Wait, hold on. Dunkel Weizen Doppelback. Dunkel Weizen Doppelback. There you go. Talking with the Boston accent, and he's like, Oh, you I saw that. that car? He's like, Yeah, I parked, parked it. Car. You parked it at the harbor? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It a That's day. a spicy it's meatball. Spicy. Yes. <laughs> Hey Beer Nation, one of my favorite parts of doing this show is that we get to go behind the scenes of the brewery. So we are behind the scenes in where all the magic happens at Klaus. And tell me, is there any difference with German beers than the normal style of making them? Well, we do uh, everything according to, or most everything according to what the Reinheitsgebot calls for, which is a German beer uh, purity law. So that incorporates us using only four ingredients in our process. Uh, that's uh, malted barley, that's hops, water, and yeast. And that's all we use. We don't use any clarifying agents. We don't filter, uh, which isn't necessarily against the Reinheitsgebot, but we don't do that. Nice. Um, 
and so we do everything as natural as possible. Uh, it's uh, vegetarian, vegan friendly, you know, oh, wow. so we don't use any animal byproducts for clarification, for instance. Um, and it's just a really traditional process. And we clarify our beer, not through filtration, but mm -hmm. through time and temperature. So uh, we lager our beers for four to six weeks after we brew them. And that really cold, long temperature will help the yeast settle out. So whatever clarity you see in the beer um, is due to how well the yeast has settled out in that particular batch. Excellent. So you'll get a little bit different levels of clarity, but usually it'll it'll settle out really nice, and it's all wow. done without filtration. You Super know, I, yeah, I have an interesting question to ask you sure. because it's just something that I just conversation off the top of my head with other people. So I know in Germany they drink warm beer. What's the difference between there and here that's cold, warm? I mean, is there any difference? I wouldn't necessarily call it warm. Okay. I just wouldn't, it's not so cold that you can't taste it. Okay. And right. I think that's the difference. So okay. here they'll maybe serve it around 35 degrees, okay. which is super cold. Yeah. Um, and that's usually because there's a, a lack of ingredients okay. in a lot of beers. Okay, gotcha. Uh, but with German beer or craft beers in general, they'll serve them maybe 40 degrees, mm -hmm. so it warms it up a slightly yeah, okay. and gives you a little bit better uh, flavor experience. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I just that's really get to taste it. Yeah. yeah, you get to taste it. You know, and I'm pretty sure because you mentioned temperature, so it's like, you know, I was like, wait a minute, I, I'm remembering something, you know, someone right. told me once, and I'm like, oh, hot beer, what, what's happening, you know? Yeah. But that's cool, okay, I wanted to know that. Thanks yeah. for letting us know about sure. that. Awesome. You have some experience in Germany. You go quite often, or? Yeah, so again, I've got family in Germany, and uh, I go once or twice a year. And when I go there, of course, I've got to do some uh, testing, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. every time I go. And so, and we get ideas and techniques and talk to brewers and things like that. And um, yeah, so we try to refine our press process all the time. Excellent. Cool. So you can get truly authentic German beer here at Klaus. All right, everyone. You know what we want to say? You got to come out to Klaus Brewing because the flights here are amazing. If you want to try pretty much their favorite ones here or oh, my favorite ones here you can see which one it is it's empty oops <laughs> i think your glass is broken <laughs> anyways um come on out try it out this is a great establishment it's really fun being here you get free german lessons obviously but um we want to give you a gift here so she'd like to introduce that to you we would like to present you with a bin shot glass it is oh, bulletproof nice. glass with a bullet that is hand molded into the glass each glass is hand oh wow sculpted um and they nice. actually Thank you very much. Our logo yeah. onto that for you. Here, dolls. That's awesome. Check yeah. it out. It's a father son team in Wisconsin. They um, employ retired veterans and first responders, so it's a really good establishment. Mm -hmm. That's great. And I have a present for you, too. <clears throat> Just like to introduce. We have a little oh. a photo here that if you would like, you could post, put this somewhere in your brewery. Definitely, that'll we definitely We came and go visited. Up. We made it here. You know, we want to thank Thomas for allowing us to show us around. This is a really cool place. So this is for you and your whole team. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks. Thank you. I mean, did you have fun today? It was a blast out here. I had a lot of fun. My glass is almost empty, but you know what? I guess that means it's time to go. We wanted to say thank you guys for watching. Come out to Klaus Brewing because they got some amazing brews here. Fantastic. Uh, make sure to follow us on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, wherever you can find us. And you know what, by the way, if you have a brewery that you'd like us to come visit, why don't you uh, give us a little call, you know what I'm saying? Or send us a message, <laughs> yeah, tap, tap us understand. on the shoulder, whatever you want to do. So uh, thanks you guys for watching. So this was a lot of fun. See you later. Bye. In the hole. Take a moment to tell you about a really cool sponsor called Benshot. Benshot makes custom crafted glasses that are their own design and 100% made in the U.S. They love working and hiring veterans and former law enforcement. So go check out Benshot.com on the web and social media. Tell them the Beer Dolls sent them your way.